So a lot of people think show racism in the red card, it's all about racism in football. Well, it's not. Show racism in the red card is about coming into your schools and actually educating you people about what racism is. We are going to have a little challenge. I'm rolling my sleeves up and everything. Okay. So, true or false, racism can be when you're picked on because of the colour of your hair. Pretty convincing evidence from over here, to be honest, yeah? And I have to agree with them in the sense that I have seen people be picked on for the colour of stuff like hair. So what have you got? Come on, you need to convince us that no, 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 that's not racism. Let's we didn't count for <coughs> hair because everybody's hair is different and uh, it's mainly of your culture, your religion and uh, what colour skin you have. Wow, what's yeah. your name? This is actually Johnny Delaney, okay? And Johnny Delaney is what you would call an Irish traveller. Has anyone ever heard of, of travellers? Can anyone name like another traveller group? Not Irish traveller, because that's just one type of traveller. Yeah, gypsy. Yeah, gypsy people. And you can get them. And they kicked him and kicked him and they kicked him so much actually that they ended his life, they killed him. Uh, we used to play in school environments where there was all sorts of racism and prejudice, not just <coughs> racism. So it's something that you experienced a lot more uh, in the culture that I was uh, brought up in. Unfortunately, because of uh, uh, organisations like Show Races in the Red Card and your teachers that you have here, and hopefully the message that we send out as Newcastle United Football Club, that you are so much better educated. Uh, about racism. I think That's it's um, what uh, John Barnes said in the DVD. It's the racism that you don't see. It's the one where, say, a Muslim person wants to apply for a job and uh, they're totally qualified for the job and they'll give it to somebody who's less qualified just because based on skin colour. I think that's the most dangerous sort of racism, the one that you don't see, because that's people's livelihood. After one game, usually, um, you know, you've got the directors and chairmen who go up to the directors suite, chairman suite, and um, I went up to go into the room, and usually I've got an attendant on the door. And as I've gone to go into the room, um, the attendant stopped me at the door and said, sorry, this is for chairmen, managers and directors who are going here. And I turned around and said, I am the manager of the football club. As though to say, how can you be the manager because you're black? The prejudice is not acceptable in any form, whether it's a disability or their skin colour, or like David here, who's very, very nervous about talking, because his English isn't very good, okay? So I'm going to get him to say hello to you in Italian. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Ciao a tutti ragazzi. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult for me to speak, but, uh, but I agree with, with, uh, with my coach. Listen, can we have a massive round of applause for our amazing panel? that um, racism can be found in four forms instead of just one about the skin colour. It's about all about uh, what people are, what get, people get called and everything and what what's happened to them. And that it can be quite offensive for, to people and that it can really affect them. This is called like Jip War and that it's not very nice. When people, when people are, like, are being judged by like, a Kurama book, and it's not very nice at all. I told what, what I think, no, that don't care what uh, skin colour you have, what religion you are, you have. We are all brothers. Show us the red card. Show us the red card. 